See, I feel like you got a picture where I came from. I already done enough. I don't want to say, like, be cocky because I want people to understand, like, where I come from. Like, I'm already a legend. I'm already a legend. I actually understand what Javante Davis is saying, and he's actually right. You know, as far as what he has done, and he's already made it. He's already a legend and this, this stuff. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about in the eyes of the whole boxing world. But as far as where he come from, what he has done, what he's saying is I have beat the odds. I have beat the odds. I have became successful. I, you know, I have money. I have a way to support myself. You know what I'm saying? And, and my family, I'm one of the only ones to do it where I come from. That's what he's speaking like. But when he says that, that lets you know that all that legacy that we talk about, that we hope fighters fight for, that's not on the table for Javante Tank Davis. That is with that just lets you know that it's not on the table for those, those belts mean nothing. Okay? Tank is strictly a spectacle fighter. Because in all honesty, he is above the belts. He is. Now, I would like him to pursue and want to be an undisputed champion, want to be a unified champion, and want to get all the belts. I can want him to do that. But let's stop for a minute and let's reflect on why. See, this is where how people act in boxing produces the outcome that we see today. It's a lot of things that playing to the element but this is one of them okay now keep in mind i just told you how it doesn't benefit tank davis to fight ryan garcia because he'll get no credit or basically anybody else okay with that being said is that just exclusively for tank davis no that's pretty much all boxers and athletes that look like him okay so let me tell you the mindset now and I've also been saying this. And Tank Davis is a shining example of the outcome of you guys' bias. Why in the hell am I even going to try to pursue to get these belts or unify or do all this stuff that everybody glorified as decadent in boxing when if and when I do it, I never get credit? That's all they're going to say. Tank, don't chase that crap. You above the belts, this, this, and that. What? To be the best? What? To be this? To be, to be, to be undisputed? To be unified? Tank, take a good look at, at Devin Haney. Is he getting any credit? Does Terrence Crawford get any credit? Does Anthony Joshua get any credit? No, no, and no. So you could pursue all that good stuff, unifying, undisputed stuff, all you want to. At the end of the day, they still going to talk shit about you. They still going to ridicule you. So what is the smartest thing for us to do? Go get this money. That's a reflection of you guys' bias right there. And you know what? At this stage, you can't blame them. See, because certain athletes don't get no credit for nothing that they do. So why are they going to continue to keep chasing this dream of wanting a luxurious legacy and being known for fighting the best when you can't get fucking credit. But we're quick to give credit to guys who haven't accomplished the things that we're criticizing the guys about, okay? Let's face it, Vasily Lomachenko is more praised and more celebrated for not doing something that Terrence Crawford has done five years ago. Facts. Okay. Tyson Fury is more celebrated than Anthony Joshua and Anthony Joshua has accomplished and fought the more top 10 heavyweights out of everybody in heavyweight. But who they trying to give all the glory to? 
Tyson Fury and Uzi and Uzi I understand to a certain degree but you have to understand he has not campaigned at the heavyweight division long enough for me to say that he's a top 10 heavyweight because we call him a top 10 heavyweight once again Pete Gain for beating Anthony Joshua somebody that people say ain't shit got a chin he's a bum he can't fight blase split if he's all that then why do we elevate people for beating these people like the Barrios, like the Pitbull Crews. Once again, let me give you another example. Deontay Wilder, bullshit ass fighter, one trick ass pony, ain't about nothing, ain't really tried to fight nobody, ain't really tried to unify with nobody. All Tyson Fury had to do was beat him and look where they elevate him. But at the same time, you, you elevated him up because he beat somebody who which you didn't give credit to as far as their career in boxing are these not all facts are these not all facts and the end result is you help engineer the outcome of not seeing these kind of fights because you believe if this fighter looks like this he should give all the credit in the world and if these fighters look like this we should never give them no credit therefore people only go for the money and that's where we're at plain and simple wrapped up nice and neat like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Vane, I'm out.